Okay, an update. I've got the wiring finished on this motor car. This is this MR19 that we talked about before. I have the alternator installed. This is a Nippon Denso knockoff. You can see how the bracket is set up to have it hooked on here. This is gonna be a first cold start. Again, there's a view of those two, two belts. Wiring doesn't really show up clear on the video camera, but here we go. It's not completely finished yet. There's the fuse block I put in, but uh, the car's got front headlight, rear tail light, rear headlight, front tail light, brake lights, both directions. Uh, there's provisions for a radio. Um, the wires run, but I, I haven't installed it yet. The wiper motors still have not been uh, installed yet. They are going to be 6 volt. They are 6 volt. They need the voltage reducers put in. So uh, let's open up the gas and we'll see what happens. So here's the battery. It's a sealed lead acid battery. Uh, I bought it from a place online. It's occupying this toolbox. On this side, this is the coil box. Got the coil. This is the one coil that I showed in an earlier video. And uh, got the plug wire in. Thing's full of water. Real full. And uh, there's the there's the front brake light, tail light for reverse operation. There's the front headlight, blinky flashy light. Got to have that. So let's start her up. Open the throttle. Open the needle valve. This has an adjustable needle valve. I usually open them two times, two full, and then this will be a lot of fun. I use a clothespin to hold the choke up. Choke is a rod down in here. Here's the choke rod. And this guy, somebody made a, a rod for it. Then we put the crank in and I spin it over. <laughs> That primes the crankcase with fresh fuel. I'll release the choke, close the throttle slightly, retard the timing. And let me go over. Okay, I have a disconnect. We'll put the disconnect on. And then I have an ignition switch. You can see the alternator idiot light turned on. I have that wired for that. Let's see if it fires. Here we go. Okay, let's try it again. Primed. Ignition on. Crank back. Ignition light or alternator light out. Ammeter showing charge. Let's go out and look at the meter. The meter showing 13.9, 14 volts, so we know it's charging. See how the lights work. Put some of this back a little. Use a turn and a half. Horn marks. Should be front headlight. And it is. Rear tail lights. And it is. Switch up a second time. That should be rear headlight. And it is. And the rear tail lights are out. And the front tail lights on. Now let's kick on the brake. The brake switch. Which is this little snap switch right here. Brake levers applied. Rear brake lights on.
front brake lights illuminated. Now we'll kick the brakes off. Whoa, can't do that. It'll roll right off the end of the track. Got rails here. But let's get a let's get a wedge. Throw a wedge under. Now let's see what happens. Now we're good. Not gonna roll off. Brake lights are out. Tail light's still on. Put it back to the front. Turn the blinky light on. And there you go. Put the needle back a little. down a little. And it's still putting out 13.1 volts. That's good. It means the pulley size works well. Alternator light, light's not on. Rev it up a little. Slow it down. The emitter is just barely starting to move. Now it's discharged. Pull it back open. It's right back up in the center. So the alternator is working perfect. It's tight, but it does work. So that's the Fairmont sneeze. Means it's running a little too lean for the temperature that it's at.